Welcome to another episode of So Discussions. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. We're like jazz musicians, freeform riffing on soda. I'm Dan. And I'm Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, we're going to yeah. do an episode today that I'm pretty confident we're both going to find so delicious. Real? That's, well, I hope it's not so disgusting. I hope not, too. <laughs> We're diving back into the world of local sodas. Um, we've tasted a few beverages from Hosmer Mountain. Um, yeah. Beverages. Beverages. And uh, I think we've pretty confidently enjoyed them. Jeff, you recently drank some on your own. Yeah. I think I tasted them first. They're out of Willimantic, Connecticut. Well, you went there a while back. Yeah, which is, um, it's a jog from us. It is. And you bought me a whole plethora of sodas. I believe, I believe all of these I've tasted, but it's been a while. You may not have because there's one that I actually haven't tasted. Which one? The chocolate? The Lime Ricky. What? I got a Lime Ricky. You did? Okay. Yeah, we'll get to that. So when I was at Hosmer Mountain Beverages, I was speaking to uh, the store manager, Dave, and I said, Dave, 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 bud, pal, what are the big heavy hitters? Like, what are the must tries? Mm -hmm. um, what are like the most popular Hosmer Mountain flavors? And these are the five that he pointed out to me. The most popular. So above like cola and everything else. Well, not, I don't know or in like terms of favorite. sales. Yeah. But he said like what customers frequently tell him are like their best flavors. Probably in sales as well. Right. Like, um, they're unique. They're specific to their brand. People really enjoy them. As you know, if you've watched our previous episodes that feature Hosmer Mountain Beverages, they're made with all natural uh, filtered spring water, all natural ingredients. Micro filter. Yeah. Really high quality stuff. So Jeff, we've tasted these at different times. I actually don't know if I've tasted this one either. The, um, um, the orange, dry. orange dry. So the orange dry, as you can see, it's got some little. This was pointed out to it. me when I bought it. So, so this th is not mold. This orange is not dry mold. is basically just like an orange juice soda. It's not yeah. orange soda. It's right. how much juice is in here. Does it even say? Um, the label does not say. Contains carbonated, non-chlorinated water, high fructose corn sweetener, concentrated orange juice. So it doesn't say how much, but there is orange juice in there. Yeah. You can see the pulp. Um, I do love orange dry. Polar makes it. Yep. Um, I'm a regular purchaser. It's not as natural as this, though. They don't have, um, well, this doesn't have cane sugar either. Um, or did it? Did it have both? One of them had both. Some of their flavors have both. No, this is just um, high fructose corn syrup. Unfortunate, but I'm still very excited. Look at that pulp in there. So it was recommended to me that you give it a couple slow turns to yeah, reincorporate. Just, just kind of like I did right there. You yeah. just reincorporate it. There. Do you want to start with this since we're talking yeah. about it? Let's go. I was thinking sort of like lightest to sure. darkest. You ready for this? Are you ready? As far as flavors. Every time. Every time. <clears throat> so what you want yeah, from an orange, orange dry is something a little bit less sweet than an orange soda. Something that tastes more of a fresh orange, um, a nice crispness to it. Yeah, and it's called dry because during Prohibition, it was a beverage that had no alcohol. So you know, 100% alcohol-free. Oh, that's nice. Very refreshing. Got a good bite to it. You can sip it, you can chug it, you can make love to it at night with the lights down low. <laughs> Light some candles and just pour it all over your hairy chest. It's funny with orange dry because with kids, a lot of times they'll see it in my refrigerator, like my niece or my girlfriend's kids. They'll be like, orange soda. I love orange soda. So does cook a cow. And I'm like, take a little sip before you commit to a whole glass of orange dry because it's not what you're expecting. Yeah, no, it's very good. I love it. It's, it's more in line with an orangina. Than like a slice orange soda. Jeff, where do you put this in regards to a polar orange dry? Better. This is better. I think so too. It tastes a lot more natural. I did have some pulp in my mustache. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff likes his orange juice so pulpy that he has to cut it with a fork High knife. Pulp. I like when you open it and it's just like. There's like a, a stopper of pulp at the yeah. top. No, I am going to pour this out. Not because I don't like it. Just because... pour it in here. I'll take another sip. Okay. Because I drank a lot of soda today. A lot of shit and I'm soda. I'm not feeling fucking We should have done this episode earlier because these are actually good. I know. We're stupid. <laughs> um, so, Jeff, this is the one that I for sure haven't tried. I forget why. I just had bought a lot of other things. So, Lime Rickies. What makes a Ricky a Ricky? Dan, do you know? I wish I did. That would be good for this episode. It would be great. The first time I had a Lime Ricky, I believe, was in Philadelphia at like an ice cream soda 
hop place. soda fountain soda fountain called franklin fountain and i was like i'll have a ricky i've had them several other times delicious uh, it's just like a sour lime soda as the label says what makes a lime ricky let's find out guys very limey it's almost just like straight up lime juice um which is not very drinkable interesting here why is it called a lime ricky this refreshing drink was named after democratic lobbyist colonel joe ricky who collaborated with the bartender of Shoemaker's Bar in Washington, D.C. in the 1880s to create a cocktail that included gin, lime, and carbonated water. Oh, is there gin in here? There's not. There's no. Not. But apparently, like, um, this would be the juice and the soda water yeah. combination that you could add a gin or a bourbon to, is what people are saying on the good old interwebs. So yeah, this smells... Know. I love lime. Lime's one of my favorite fruit flavors. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Delicious. Arizona made a delicious cherry lime, Ricky, that I don't see as much anymore. You don't see it anymore. Unfortunately. Smells very limey. No cheers? We're not cheersing? I couldn't wait. It's so good. This is so good. This is what Mountain Dew wishes it could be, but Mountain Dew sucks. Very good. The thing that I like about this is... It tastes fresh. It tastes mm -hmm. real. It tastes natural. It tastes like you got like a soda water at a bar. Like a, you know, like a soda water. What are the other terms like for club. that? Tonic club soda. Seltzer. Tonic seltzer. And then you got like fresh squeezed lime juice in there. Yeah, it does taste very fresh. And you know, I was just bitching that. I don't feel good. This will cure you, dude. This, this is might the... cure you. Wow. Thanks, Senator Ricky. It doesn't Lobbyist taste Ricky. kernel, dude. Um, it's surprisingly smooth for high fructose corn syrup. I wonder if they're using that in the citrus beverages for a reason, because the colas and the other things are definitely sugar. Yeah, made with cane sugar and naturally pure water. Good thing they're not using that unpure water. Yeah, toilet water. So uh, we're I would love water. this like on over a big like pile of ice with a nice lime wedge on top on a hot summer day. Mm. I'm sweating right. Goes down go smooth. That. So that's really good. You know who's gonna love this? Who? Keith. Keith oh, is gonna love this lime, gonna... Ricky. That's true because he's all about like freshness, healthiness, natural flavors. Now we got black cherry. Not a cherry cola. Nope. Just black cherry. The I like a black shit. cherry flavor, but you have to be careful because it can really border on fake tasting. Yes, it can. This can turn into Robitussin real quick. Um, it smells pretty fruit, like naturally fruity. Cane sugar, natural flavors is the third ingredient, which I like to see. Citric acid, which tells me it's going to be balanced. It's not going to be cloyingly sweet. I'll cheers you on this one. Thanks, lovey. Cheers. Love that. It's pretty good. This is my favorite black cherry. Yeah, as far as black cherry goes, this is probably the best I've had. We've tried Dr. Brown's black cherry. Pretty good. Not at this level, though. Still, That still tastes a little fake. This tastes a lot more natural, like a real cherry. You know the um big fat cherries in um, <sighs> Cherry Garcia Ben & Jerry's ice cream? This is like that. It's like that soda. Yeah. Really smooth, really well balanced. It doesn't leave a gross aftertaste in your uh -uh. mouth either. It's very good. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I love that it, when you put too much sugar in cherry flavored, it goes really quickly to like that shit code, code red, red, basically. Yeah. Where like, too, like, if you bite into a real cherry, it's not that sweet. They're pretty tart. And this has got a nice little It hit balances of that. the tartness with the sweetness mm -hmm. pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, Jeff. This is one that they're famous for. Yes. It's a unique flavor. This is a chocolate cream. Jim, you want to get a close-up of that label? The first time I had a chocolate soda was uh, Fago when I was in oh, high yeah. school. And I was like, chocolate soda? What did I come out with that? <clears throat> Jeff, are you a fan of um, chocolate egg creams? Yeah, those are good. So There's no egg in them, though. No, there's not. No. It's basically a carbonated it's chocolate milk. Liars. So what I'm looking for in this is to see if it's got if it's have you ever had this? I have, but because it's I long, did have a bottle ago. Um, when you bought it several months ago. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, right? <laughs> Chocolate soda is another one that's real easy to screw up. It is, yeah. It could turn into just tasting like carbonated Hershey syrup, or just taste like cardboard. Mm, get a smell of that, dude. Get your sniffer right in there. Stick it in my nostril, Daddy. Hmm. It tastes like, it, it and, smells like and chocolate I mean, just, milk. Just the addition of cream. Oh, yeah, dude. 
this this is one of my favorites because again it's another one that's so easy to screw up and they get it so right mm, it smells very creamy delicious absolutely you would think after drinking orange lime cherry that you'd be like oh wow my mouth is all like i can't handle this chocolate cream absolutely fucking delicious this is so good there's like almost like a cocoa mm. flavor to it like the way it coats your mouth is almost like a hot cocoa yeah you know, that and like it's, smooth it, richness it's not bitter like a dark chocolate it's not just like a fake chocolate this actually just tastes like chocolate it's so bizarre like a milk chocolate candy bar yeah to, to just have like a cold carbonated just like thin liquid that tastes like chocolate and it, it's really good not overdone it doesn't taste like a fake burnt coffee like you might think it could yeah i was just looking this also mm. is a high fructose corn syrup the thing is like they're using the high fructose corn syrup well yeah they're making it so they're not putting enough into it like like these artificial sodas jim get a close-up on this mess that we got up look there look at this disaster that's too much high fructose corn syrup <laughs> that's where you're like drinking liquid corn they're putting enough in here that it's balanced. I'd rather have a glass of ethanol. It's smooth. Really enjoyable. I like want more of that. I'm just going to take a little splash. <laughs> Go for it, man. This, this is, is what we started this show for, and we ended up drinking a lot of shit. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more like this, and Jeff was like, nope. The people want to see us drink flaming Hot Diarrhea do. Put it in your mouth, boys. I was like, let's start a YouTube series where you can experience all these delicious sodas. <laughs> Let's try this root beer. I love root beer. Root beer is one right, of my Jeff. favorite sodas. Ever. I'm going to let you crack this one because I'm going to read you a couple stats. So when I purchased these sodas, Dave at Hosmer Mountain. I would love if his name was like John and you just forgot what no, it is. No, it's Dave. It's Dave? He was like, you got to get the root beer. It's our award-winning soda. It's our best. Now, Jeff, I want you to read off specifically that label. Because it's not Hosmer just Mountain, root beer. Bottled in the land of a swift moving waters. Sarsaparilla root beer. Mm -hmm. Do they actually use sarsaparilla root? Hosmer Mountain lies in the heart, formulated with brown sugar. Oh. Real brown sugar. Guys, in 2004, Hosmer Mountain entered the Great American Root Beer Showdown. 89 root beers were scored by seven tasters. They came in fourth. Okay, guys, check this out. Carbonated, non-chlorinated water. Good to hear. I don't want to drink pool water. Sugar, brown sugar, caramel coloring, natural and artificial. Uh, citric acid, potassium benzoate preservative, and extract of sarsaparilla root. So this is the fucking OG root can beer. I, can I tell you guys who they beat out in this contest? Hosmer Mountain came in fourth. Tenth, A&W. Twenty-first, IBC. Twenty-ninth, Mug. Thirty-first, Stewart's. Fifty-third, Virgil's. Fifty-seventh, Barks. So they're crushing the competition. Well, yeah, those are just mass-produced garbage anthony's root beer barrel review was another national competition 255 root beers were reviewed who, wait who's number one two and three they don't say we got to find out they're not going to say who beat them but if, it, if there's three better than this anthony's root beer barrel review they came in 14th out of 255 ahead of like all those other companies we read again all right Dan. we're proud to report that we are among the very best i mean for those don't know uh this is how root beer started. Sarsaparilla root. It was literally roots. It was pulled out of the ground. It's fucking awesome. Jeff, a few episodes ago. I, I was hoping you would not bring this up. You told me that you had had your favorite root beer of all time. Yeah, I did. What was it, Jeff? It was Frost Top root beer. I will say, if you get root beer at Frost Top in Huntington, West Virginia, it is better than the bottled version. But, guys, boy, this is my favorite root beer of all time. This is... Sarsaparilla brown sugar root beer from Hosmer Mountain Beverages. You're not going to taste anything like this. This is the essence of root beer. This is everything you like about root beer amplified. I can't even put into words how good this is. This is incredible. I Did I have this before? I don't know. I don't remember the, the experience uh, I'm having right now. The brown sugar takes it to a whole oh, new level. Indescribable. It's like caramel, vanilla, hints of like bourbon, hints of like oh, that like sarsaparilla just cutting through. I just want to smell this. I just want to pour it all over me. It's good, right? And just lay down in the sun so it bakes onto my skin and then I can just 
smell it all day. Jeff, head to head, Frost Top versus Hosmer's. Going. <sighs> God damn it. These are the tough questions that we live for. I'm I'm a pretty big man. I'm I'm I will admit when I'm wrong. This might have the edge on Frost Top. <laughs> Thank you for getting through this with me and being honest. I'm here for you. You're my root pal. You're my sass pal. We drank a lot of toots today, and we... now we've had some really good roots. <laughs> it's the root in his <laughs> uh, show that you'll find on the internet. This is so good. Uh, you guys can't have any because I'm going to drink this. No, that's not fair. We're going to share. This is so good. Do you guys want to go to Hosmer Mountain right now? I kind of do. We. I want to rank these and score them because they're that good. <laughs> let me go first. Okay. Let, let me rank first. Start from worst. Work your way From out. worst. It's hard because they're so good. Um, Orange Dry. I think it's very good, but it's right there with Polar. I think if, if you couldn't get this and you could get a Polar, you're not going to die from that. Second. I'm going to go with the black cherry. Again, really special, really strong black cherry. Oh, that's actually over here. Probably my favorite black cherry flavor, but the flavor on its own, not one of my favorites. Next, Lime Ricky. So refreshing, so clean. So delicious. So delicious. So discussions. Now we're getting to the top two. Top two. I mean, it's not that hard. Come on. Chocolate cream. Great choice. Delicious, unique, balanced, rich. Uh, so natural flavoring. The top, the big daddy of them all. Sarsaparilla root beer. Sarsaparilla root beer with brown sugar. That. My favorite root beer of all time. Crushing it. Hosmer Mountain Beverages. They're all great, Jeff. Here's mine. Here's mine. Here. Let's get this out of the way. Here, glass sound. <laughs> Cat meowing. Glass sound. All right. This is, this is I'm not going to say worse because I love this. Mm -hmm. This is my least favorite right here. Okay. Then, even though I love this, I got to go with Dan. Um, there, and then I just I love lime, so I'm gonna have to put it second. So we're gonna do the wow. chocolate here. I I love lime so much, and then the root beer. I don't know if you can even see this in the camera because the microphone, but uh, yeah, this is mine. Least favorite to favorite. This is this is stunning. This is the star of the show. I can quit so discussions now and be like, we did it. We we're changing the hearts and minds, guys. We're changing hearts and minds. We hit the top. There can't be any better. You know what? Let's look. Look, we just drank these two sodas today. Are you fucking They're not kidding even, me? How can we, these both be called we sodas? We drank animal piss, and then we drank manna from fucking heaven. Don't God slosh him, it. God himself pissed this down upon <laughs> earth. And then like- uh, Maybe like, diarrhea water? Like, this is like a melted slug. What is yeah. this shit? Get the Numbers. Fuck out of here. 10. 10. Ele this is 11. You can't even get better than that. 10. 9. 9. 8. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. They're all eights to tens. Fucking great. This is this is amazing. absolute bangers, guys. If it's you know, possible for you to get to a Hosmer Mountain Beverages, I believe you can purchase online. Do it. Spend it's ten dollars. It's gonna be a bit more expensive. Okay. For I spent thirteen dollars for a Coke bite. Garbage. Don't even remember it. Spend ten dollars. If on I one can recommend anything from this show, it's buy some Hosmer Mountain Beverages. Yes, I would agree. There's not one flavor of Hosmer's that I have had that I can say was no. Bad. We're gonna do more in the future too. We've got a Stellar Energy drink and a cola that they do. Just absolute bangers across the board, bussin' bussin'. Anything you can say, that's what it is. So I think we should try in the same order. Okay. That they tried it. We're doing orange dry first. I'm excited for these flavors. I like the idea I've of never had an orange dry. It's great. It's really good. It's great. It is really good. It does taste like an orange juice soda. This is like super fresh. I like the the orange juice pulpiness. Mm -hmm. Good, refreshing, very refreshing. Lime Ricky, named after the lobbyist, named after Ricky Bobby. Ricky Lime. It tastes exactly how I expected it to. Yeah, also very good. It's good. I could see this as a very nice mixer and yes, a drink for sure. Uh, yeah, that's it's really very good. limey, very fresh, and again, yeah, put it, put some alcohol on this shit. Shouts out to Lime Ricky, the Democratic <laughs> lobbyist. <laughs> the black cherry soda. 
I don't think it's my favorite black cherry thing I've ever drank. Hmm. But it's it's good. Yeah, I'm wrong. That's fair. I think like out of all these flavors are very natural tasting. Yes. Hell yeah. There you go, Jimmy. I don't think I've ever tried chocolate soda before. Smell it. it. Smells like chocolate milk a little. A little bit. Holy shit. Fire, right? That is straight fire. That is lit as fuck. Holy crap. What the fuck? How does that exist? Cosmers. I want that. I want more of that. I didn't go I try this more. again. I'm double <laughs> dipping. That's really good. It's like a carbonated chocolate milk. So smooth. It goes down so smooth. You wouldn't expect. Well, I guess you kind of would if it tastes kind of like chocolate milk. Yeah. These are really good, but not for nothing. We did just drink like 20 Mountain Dews today. <laughs> so like when you put them like next to each other, like it's just completely different. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It is night and day. Oh, yeah. That root beer is great. Fantastic. That's how you do it, fellas. This is good. You need to buy these sodas. Taste brown sugar. Oh, yeah. It's there. It's like the um, the aftertaste yeah. is the brown like sugar. The caramely. Yes. Tasting the root. Straight from the root. I like the, the chocolate cream, actually. I gotta say that's my favorite. Yeah, I think same. I like the, the uniqueness of it, um, the smoothness of it. I yeah. like uh, lime Ricky next, and that'd go uh, root beer, orange, and then cherry. I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, we got some camera work over here. Sick. Are you doing the zoom in to me like I do to you? That's so discussion. Now the show's ended. It's gone. It's over. It's done. Let's end. This Go show home. Too.